Hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to teach you about fractions. Before I teach you about fractions, there's a very important thing that you need to know. The thing that you need to know is that there are two words that mean whole. The first whole with the W is a whole pizza, a whole loaf of bread, a whole set of Lego, a whole cake. The second hole does not have a W on it. That kind of hole is a hole in the ground or a hole in your shoe or a hole in your pants. Today we're going to be talking about this kind of hole that means complete. We're going to use the fraction circles to explain fractions to you, starting with a whole circle. One whole circle. If you take the whole circle and you cut it into two equal pieces, each piece will be called one half. One half, two halves. One half, two halves. If you take the whole circle and you cut it into three equal pieces, each piece will be called one third. One third, two thirds, three thirds. You can count with me. One third, two thirds, three thirds. If you take the whole circle and you cut it so that you have four equal pieces. Each piece will be called one fourth. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. Four fourths makes a whole. If you take the whole and you cut it so that you have five equal pieces, each piece will be called one fifth. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths. Five fifths makes a whole. If you take the whole and you cut it so that there are six equal pieces, each piece will be called one sixth. One sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, six sixths. Six sixth equals one whole. If you take the whole and you cut it so that there are seven equal pieces, each piece will be called one seventh. One seventh two sevenths, three sevenths, four sevenths, five sevenths, six sevenths, seven sevenths makes one whole. You can count them as I put them back. And if I take the whole and I cut it now into eight equal pieces, each piece will be called one eighth. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, 
four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths makes one whole. And you can count them as I put them back. If you take the whole and you cut it all up so that you have nine equal pieces, each piece will be called one ninth. One ninth, two ninths, three ninths, four ninths, five ninths, six ninths, seven ninths, eight ninths, nine ninths. Nine ninths makes a whole. And you can cut, uh, count them as I place them back in. And finally, if I take the circle and I cut it all up into 10 equal pieces, each piece will be called one tenth. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths. And you can count them as I put them back in. Now you know the names of the fraction circles. Next lesson, I will teach you how to write fractions with numbers and words.